Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. If you watch this show regularly, you know about North Carolina's booming wine industry. Our state's foray into wine actually began in colonial times with one of its original native grapes, the Scuppernong. Producer Clay Johnson shows us how the old Scuppernong is a big part of our state's new wine revolution at a coastal winery that bears its name. A Scuppernong actually is, the, is a white variety of Muscadine. When you sip Muscadine and Scuppernog wines, you're tasting the origin of our state's wine industry. And what better place to do that than the vineyards on the Scuppernog wine shop near the Scuppernog River in Columbia. We have uh, 2,000 gallon tanks, primarily six of those. Jack Bishop used to be a real estate developer before he got into the wine business. In 2002, he bought a farm on the river near Columbia with plans to develop a subdivision. Of course, building business had gone south by that time, and so I was just looking for something to do with the farm and all. Former Senator Mark Bassnight, a friend of Bishop's, suggested he grow muscadine grapes. After all, the muscadine is native to the area. English explorers discovered a variety called the Scuppernog growing along the banks of what is now the Scuppernog River more than 400 years ago. Picked them, carried them back to Queen Elizabeth, and made wine she wrote in history. It's like no other wine she'd ever had. And more recently, researchers have found that muscadine wine can help ward off heart disease and cancer. They found out, they discovered, that the muscadine produced 40 times the amount of antioxidants, not 40 percent, but 40 times the amount of antioxidants than any other fruit. Good reason to start growing them, so Bishop started doing just that to sell the grapes to grocery stores. Then he experimented with wine. He recruited an expert winemaker from Virginia to help increase production and soon reached his goal of making 5,000 cases a year. He now has 25 acres of vineyards with 15 different varieties of muscadines. He also grows Catawba grapes, another native North Carolina species. Don't know of another uh, vineyard in this state that has that many varieties. And what that's done for us is also given our winemaker a lot of latitude in making different blends as we created these different recipes in our, with our wines. Bishop and his wife Grace purchased Columbia's old abandoned town hall and fire station in 2006. They renovated the more than 100-year-old building and turned it into a wine shop. The shop sits right on Highway 64, a block from where it crosses the Scuppernog River. It sells the Bishop's dozen varieties of wines and gives you a chance to taste them first. I'm going to start you all off with the Somerset, and this is the driest of our white muscadine wines. Stephen Shaw and Aaron Broda stopped in on their way back from a trip to the beach. Shaw says the flavor of the wines brings back childhood memories of visiting his grandmother's farm near Plymouth. She has a Scuppernong grapevine, and we always used to pick the grapes growing up, and so the wines remind me of that a lot. The Simply Scuppernog is the winery's best seller. I think it's actually a really great seller from people who claim they don't like wine. It's very smooth, very sweet, and just actually really very delicious wine. The Catawba Bell is another popular wine. It's made from Catawba grapes and has the deep fruity flavor of a muscadine wine. This is fruity as well, but you can taste apricots, strawberries. It's, it's, really, it's a really nice, semi-sweet, very refreshing. The blackberry wine is also a big seller. Unlike many other blackberry wines, there's no grape juice mixed in. It's made from 100% pure blackberry juice. I've actually had an older gentleman describe it as he said, if you've ever gone out and picked wild blackberries in the woods and you get a whole handful and pop them in your mouth and you always get that one little tart one, he said this wine is the epitome of that experience. The experience of visiting vineyards on the Scuppernog also includes tours of the winery, vineyards, and river. It's a great business. It's an expensive business, but uh, it's, it's very rewarding. The reward for the rest of us is drinking delicious wines that are truly a taste of North Carolina. You can find vineyards on the Scuppernong at 117 Elm Street in downtown Columbia, and they're open Thursday through Sunday for tastings and tours. For more information, you can call them at 252-796-4727 or go online to vineyardsonthescuppernong.com. 
podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.